I, uh, I wanted to make this uh, short video here uh, to possibly help someone else with a problem that uh, we had here on our Xbox. It's really my son's Xbox. Um, we kept basically what started happening. This is a uh, Xbox 360S. And now the Kinect is listening to my voice here. Um, and it's it's a four gigabyte. So this was uh, this was bought I think later in uh, 2012. If that tells you about the the uh, model of Xbox that it is. Nonetheless, sorry, I'm gonna try to make this short. Um, the problem we were having is all of a sudden the uh, the four gigabyte memory uh, was acting up on us. Uh, it would it would all of a sudden become uh, I guess uh, unformatted. Uh, it wouldn't save things. We we needed updates on certain games uh, for my son to play, and it wouldn't let him play them because he couldn't get the update. Or uh, it started actually coming up saying that uh, this game requires an update, but it cannot be found. Something to that extent. So I want to tell you, between I didn't find a lot online about this to help me with the problem, so it was a little difficult. Uh, I talked to uh, technical services at Xbox, and uh, they gave me some ideas and tried to help me out. But the last when I left with them. Uh, they were telling me I was going to have to have it sent in, and um, the, uh, the the four gigabyte you know flash memory repaired, the hard drive repaired, basically. Um, you know I didn't want to deal with that; it's out of warranty. So I want to tell you what I finally did to fix this. Um, the basically the the four gigabyte internal flash memory on this console is corrupt. It's no longer any good, and it can't be used. Uh, so just real quick, I'm going to try to show you here what it did. If you uh, go to settings, go to your system settings, go to storage. What you need to do is go where your profiles are. We've got it on a jump drive. You can see here it says unformatted. on the That's, that's the internal memory on the 4 gigabyte uh, console. It's It just it won't do anything anymore. So we just need to bypass it and get past it so everything will save on this jump drive. Um, so go go to the jump wherever you've got your uh, profiles stored. Uh, go to profiles, and what you want to do is actually uh, get rid of those pro profiles. We want to get rid of any you know memory that's on there uh, that these profiles have in there. And what you're going to do, you're simply just go ahead and go to delete, but you're going to delete profile only. Don't don't delete profile and items. Um, you're not going to lose anything here. You're just going to put the profile back on uh, once this process is over. I'm not going to do it now because I've already done it. So you go to delete profile only. Now do that for any profiles you have on your um, Xbox saved there. Get rid of them all. Now also go back uh, to uh, when you're at your system settings. Go back to storage again. And you want to uh, clear all your cache. So come back to this screen here where you have all your devices. Press Y, clear system cache. Uh, do you want to continue? Yes. So we're going to clear all the cache. I can go ahead and do that with no problem here, uh, even though I've already done it. Um, so you've gotten rid of your profiles. Again, you can get those back. You haven't lost anything. Um, clear your system cache. Now on this very same screen, the storage screen, what you're going to do is press LB, RB, X, LB, RB, X. This screen will come up, and it's basically going to revert back to the previous update. It's going to take off the uh, the most recent update uh, that you've uh, downloaded. Um, you want to do that so you can kind of reset things here. You're going to download it again. Uh, again, I'm going to go ahead and hit no on this because I've already done it. Let me just show you that one more time. Let me see if I can show you this. You're going to hit LBRBX, LBRBX to get that screen to come up there. And you're going to, you're going to, let me do it again, LBRBX, LBRBX, and you're going to click uh, yes to get rid of that delete the system update. Now, once you've done that, you've deleted your profiles, cleared your system cache, deleted the most recent update, um, and, you know, even I, I cleared system cache a couple more times. It, it, you can't hurt just to clear it all out. Restart your console. It's going to ask you to, it's going to say you need a, um, a system update. Download the update. Um, 
and then once you get going again, hopefully what you have is uh, this uh, unformatted uh, four gigabytes of hard drive that don't go back and format it, just leave it alone and you're done with it. The problem we kept having is every time we tried to download something, like an update for a game or even a system update, previously it kept trying to download everything to the, the hard drive, that four gigabytes. And even though it would download there, it's no good. We couldn't access it, so then we couldn't play anything. We just we want this four gigabytes to be unformatted dead, basically, so nothing goes there. So now, everything that I go to download, it automatically goes to the jump drive, and the Xbox is completely completely usable and works completely fine. Everything's on the jump drive. So that is how I got that fixed. And uh, I'm by no means an expert. I uh, just kind of got this figured out by playing around, at least for that one problem only. Um, so I, I just hope that uh, maybe I get lucky and it'll, it'll, somebody else that has the same problem uh, can, can get theirs to work too. Didn't have to go buy my son a new Xbox. All right, thanks.